Thank you again for joining us today. Of course, name is Brian Otieno with Pennington Consulting Group. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get approved for business credit cards. I've seen so many different people talk about this. There's so much confusion out there as to what lenders are looking for exactly. I've seen people talk about, I have a great credit score, but I still got denied. What exactly is going on? So let's go over this exactly. I'm going to go over step by step. What you need to know in order to get approved for business credit cards, how to make sure you get the highest approval amounts. I mean, when it comes to business credit cards, well, you can get up to $150,000 even as a startup, okay? Let me just kind of put that out there. With business credit cards, even startup are welcome. There is no time and business requirement. There is no revenue requirement. There is no collateral that's needed. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So again, thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna to talk about how to get approved for business credit cards. I mean, this is critically important, especially if you're a startup company and, and sometimes the majority of companies, depending on what your situation is, this might be the only option you have as far as getting funding. Because again, one of the things that is very unique as far as business credit cards, there is no time and business requirement. There is no income verification requirements. There's no collateral requirements. There's very limited industry restrictions. There's very limited uh, restrictions on the use of funds. You can literally use the funds for anything. Okay. There's just so many great benefits when it comes to getting a business credit card. In addition to that, there is 0% financing generally guaranteed for the first six months. I mean, come on guys, zero and ladies. Okay. Zero 0% financing for your business for the first six months, 12 months, or even 18 months. I mean, that allows you as a business owner to actually focus on making sure your business is profitable. There is tons and tons of benefits. So let's quickly just kind of go over the minimum criteria, what exactly a lender is looking for, okay? And then we'll kind of cover a little bit of the benefits that I just mentioned and expand on even more benefits that you didn't even realize when it comes to getting business credit. So first off, there's four factors, four things that the lenders look for in order for you to qualify for business credit, okay? Now, what we're talking about here specifically is unsecured business lines, unsecured business lines for your business where you can get true cash access for your business. And what you're doing is you're utilizing your good personal credit, your good personal credit to establish this business credit lines that can quickly get you jumpstart building your business credit and not just help you start building your business credit, but also help you get access to capital so you can start getting your business out there. Because again, if you're going to be running a business, you need money to make money. Okay. I don't, that, that, that's the rule that you should understand and know by now. You need money to make money, okay? So, well, there's four things the lenders look for. I call it the four factors in order for you to qualify for unsecured business lines. The first factor to look at on your personal credit is negative items, derogatory items, late collections, charge off, bankruptcies, tax liens, judgments, whatever it is. Depending on how much effect it has on your credit, we can actually take a look at your file and we can make a determination as to what you can qualify for. But you need to know lenders do consider negative items. You probably want to get those negative items removed. Uh, if you have too many negative items, then of course you're not going to qualify for it. And, and the reason I want to expand on this is, you know, a lot of people talk about credit scores, credit scores, and I have a great score. I have a seven, 800 credit score and I still didn't get approved. So I want to move into the second factor. The second thing that the lenders look for is utilization percentage. Okay. There's a a few things a lender is going to be considering here. Number one, this percentage needs to be below 30% of what the available limit is. In order for you to maximize on the approvals, they want to make sure that you're not, you're not maxed out on your current revolving card. So before you apply, you want to pay down your credit cards below 30% of what the limit is. If the limit is $1,000, you want to make sure that that card does not go above $300 balance on that specific credit lines in order for you to maximize on the approvals, okay? So that's number one. The other thing that lenders look for that does dictate the approval amount is how high your credit cards are. That's how I would say that they don't just rely on the credit score. You can have a borrower that has a 700 credit score, another borrower that has a 650 credit score, and the borrower with a 650 credit score has two or three revolving accounts with a $10,000 plus limit. And the borrower with a 700 credit score only has cards with a 500 or a $1,000 limit. This other borrower, given that history they have of managing higher limit revolving accounts, 
is going to get approved for a much higher limit regardless if this bar right here has a much higher score okay so hopefully i can I answer that question that you have out there as to why did i get denied or why does somebody else got approved for a higher limit even though i have a better score it's because lenders look at your utilization they look at your balances in relation to limits and they also look at how you manage uh, your, your, your revolving accounts. In addition to that, they see how much you've been able to manage in the past in order to dictate how much you've been able to manage in the future, okay? I mean, that's just plain old simple. If I came to you and I wanted to borrow some money, would you be curious to my past unsecured credit history? And the answer is, of course, of course you would, okay? So, the second thing lenders look for is utilization percentage. The third thing, the third thing lenders look for is age of file. Believe it or not, there is a credit age. Just like, just like you keep up with your personal age, with your birthday that you have every single year, there is a credit age. Generally, lenders require that you have at least a two to five year age of file, two year minimum, okay? But the higher and older your credit file is, the much better you can benefit from this age of file factor. So this is based on the oldest item reporting on your credit profile. So you wanna make sure you have a pretty seasoned credit history. It's one of the reasons why I always tell parents, especially to start building their children's credit as early as even in high school, okay? Get them some secured credit cards, get them some regular credit cards, add them as authorized users so they can start having good established credit, so they can actually start understanding this, this thing as it pertains to credit, because again, it does affect so many different facets of our life, uh, especially in today's world, but that's for another video. But you need to understand the third thing the lenders look for in order for you to qualify for these business credit cards is your age of file. Now, the last thing that the lenders look for in order to assess if you qualify for unsecured business lines is inquiries, okay? Now, I always say this. It goes back to that old joke I always say. Lenders only lend money to people who don't look like they need money, okay? So if you have a lot of inquiries in your credit profile, you consider to look desperate and you consider to be high risk and you actually might get denied because lenders are gonna consider you a high risk. So just to summarize, what do you need to know? Or what does it take in order for you to qualify for business credit cards? There's four things that the lenders look for. They need to make sure that you don't have that many negative items. They need to make sure your utilization based on your revolving accounts and your revolving accounts alone is a low utilization and you're managing it well and you manage great high revolving uh, accounts. The third thing is your age of file. You need to make sure you have a seasoned credit profile in order for you to be look trustworthy. And then the last thing is inquiries. Stop shopping around, okay? Stop shopping around to multiple different lenders. Now, of course, in order for you to get a business credit card, okay, you actually have to have an actual business created. I actually have a, a, a video that I created and I talk about the four critical stages. I go over step by step on how to properly make sure that your business is set up correctly, okay? I'm probably gonna leave that a link of that video in the description because I go way more in depth than I will uh, just in a second here, but you must understand that you actually have to have a legitimate business. This business has to be number one, set up with the Secretary of State. It has to have an EIN number assigned by the IRS. This business has to have a DUNS number, a DUNS profile already opened up. It has to have an actual email address. It has to have an actual website. It has to have an actual business phone number. It has to have an actual business address. Virtual addresses are okay, but you do not want to use your home address. These are the things that you want to make sure. If it's an industry that has to have a license, you have to have a business license, okay? You have to have a business account. You have to have a business merchant account. These are things that you need to make sure you have set up so an underwriter can take you seriously, okay? This, this actually increases your credibility, okay? This increases your fundability. Okay, so you want to make sure you get all of these things set up and once you have all of those set up correctly, then you can go out there and actually sign up for these business credit cards that we just talked about. If you do meet the, the four factors, if you don't have any issues in those four factors that we just talked about. So anyway, I hope you found some great value in this video, okay? Uh, and if this is something that you need some assistance with, of course, we're here for you. We help thousands and thousands of business owners just like yourself establish, we establish billions and billions in access to credit lines over the years. So it's something that we've done, we're very good at it, and we can help you get it done correctly there's just some things that you might not know okay that lenders do look at that we need to maybe make the necessary adjustments on your specific file so if you need some assistance definitely there's
there's going to be a link in the description on how you can get in touch with us. There's actually a training that I'm providing that you definitely want to check out. If you're an entrepreneur, even established businesses, you're definitely going to want to check out this training. It's a free training. It doesn't cost you anything at all. You definitely want to click the link in the description and, and go to that training. PCGCreditFunding.com is a website that you want to go to check out that training. And also, I'm still giving away free copies of my book where I talk about three paths of lending, the three ways and how you can get access to capital. I mean, of course, we've heard this before, you're an entrepreneur. The majority of businesses are and will fail within the first 12, uh, 12 months, and especially the first five years are the most crucial stage of the business, okay? And the majority, of the number one reason why most of these businesses fail is because of lack of capital. So that's one of our missions here in this YouTube channel, is to make sure that we give you all the resources, everything that you need in order for you to get access to capital so you don't end up being part of those statistics, okay? Because especially in today, time there is so many options so many different ways on how you can get funded it should be no business out there that fails because of access to capital even if you have bad credit you can still get access to capital okay I've made videos on here talking about how you can get access to capital regardless even if you have bad credit so anyway Without further ado, I don't want to make this video too long. There's going to be a link in the description that I provide you, and I hope you found some value in this video. Do drop a comment down uh, if you have any, any topics that you would like for me to cover, or if you have any questions about this specific topic that we just talked about today. Do leave me a comment below. I do check all my comments, and I will respond to you within 24 to 48 hours. As always, I appreciate your time. Do like, subscribe, of course hit the bell, and share this video. And I hope that you're following us on all the other social media platforms because we do also offer tips there on a daily basis, focusing on these specific topics on how to start, grow, and expand your business. Again, like always, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.